Oh, Utah schools will not fully reopen for at least another month until May 1st. The governor and state superintendent made that announcement about an hour ago, maybe an hour and a half ago. Fox 13's Brian Schnee just got reaction from some school leaders. Brian, what do you have to say? Yeah, Bob, it is a major move made in the education world here in the state. Utah's K-12 through schools will now extend their dismissal through May 1st. This coming a little over a week after the governor's task force put a two-week dismissal in place. Distance learning through online platforms will continue during the K-12 through dismissal. Employees will be limited in school buildings and teachers will be encouraged to telecommute. Now, in addition to extensions, Utah's technical colleges will temporarily stop in Instruction and coursework beginning Monday, March 30th through Friday, May 1st. We want to make sure that as we watch the community spread that it doesn't impact our school communities. So trying to keep students away from buildings and, and the adults in the buildings and keep them home really prevents that social gathering and the community spread. Given the hands-on instruction at tech schools, the online-only model isn't feasible right now. However, some exceptions for online work may be based on your circumstance and your individual college. Now, there are some questions coming in regarding meal services. Those will continue. If you'd like to check out an interactive map regarding each school and the meal services that are provided there, you can find that on our website, fox13now.com. Live in Salt Lake City tonight, Brian Schnee, Fox 13 News, Utah. All right, Brian, thank you so much. Obviously, this impacts a lot of students and their families, and each school district will handle things just a little bit differently. We're joined on the telephone now by Kimberly Bird of the Alpine School District. And Kimberly, what kind of challenges are your students and the faculty and staff of the various schools in the Alpine District facing now that we are extending the suspension of class to May 1st? I guess some of the initial challenges will be specifically for our teachers. Um, we had prepared for two weeks worth of um, instruction, online instruction, and now the challenge will be extending that. Um, as you can imagine, this we've never done full online learning, and this has been a bit of a challenge not only for faculty and staff, but also for parents to learn to navigate this new territory. So. Uh, we believe that our biggest challenge will be continuing to support our teachers and helping them to have supports and new ways to extend this learning in, in all the way through May 1st. Kimberly, there are a lot of families for whom this has been very disruptive, not only because the, both parents work, but also the children come to depend on food that they receive at school, both in the morning and at lunchtime. What's going to happen to those efforts going forward? The effort for our meals, we will continue to work to provide those for students throughout um, this ordeal. And um, we've made them available at all of our school sites up to this point. Initially, last week when we began our efforts, our numbers were very low and they have um, slowly um, risen, you know, each with each new day. But we're just up around that 7,000 meals. All right. Well, Kimberly Bird with the Alpine School District, please extend to all the faculty, staff, and administrators, and to the students as well. Okay. Our very best wishes going forward to this new May 1st deadline of schools being out until then. Thanks for joining us.